Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to my Garx Tech New Horizon series. I have just been doing some building, and I built the uh, kind of like factory. You know, I call it the like factory, um, the multi factory, I guess, because it's all the multi blocks. Um, but uh, changed the floor and did some kind of like shingle looking walls. And then uh, finished everything. I was debating whether to put the facades on those, but I may need to access them at some point. So I did not uh, do that, but I did do the ones uh, coming out of the floor. So all those are kind of like covered. Uh, so you can't see like anything underneath. So that's pretty cool. The only problem is they're a little bit kind of like glitchy if you see like the things, not glitchy, but like, like there it looks fine. If you go to the side, you can tell like it's a little bit uh, weird looking. That one looks fine. That one's a little weird, but oh well. I like them. Let's notice that. Oh, that doesn't even have one. Hmm. Maybe I don't have any recipes that I use that for. I didn't even realize that. But uh, yeah, I also did a little work on the tower. As you can see, there's actually carpenter's blocks. So it looks a little bit, uh, I think it looks cooler. There's a little bit more angles to it uh, with like the diagonal blocks. I think that looks pretty cool. But uh, yeah. Anyway, last episode we left off and I scanned a couple things here. One is the ZPM emitter because I need to um, I need to uh, get the emitter for the ZPM circuit assembler, so I want to get that done. Is this plutonium? That's the thing. I don't think I have plutonium set to craft or anything. Um, but everything else is pretty pretty typical. Although two quantum stars. All the other stars, but uh plutonium two forty one. Do I have plutonium two forty one? No, I don't. Alright, so that is an issue. I don't know how to make that. Um, right, that was plutonium 241, right? Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna have to look into that. I have looked before and I don't remember. Like, I don't think it spawns on a planet I can get to. Pluto, no, see, I don't get to any of those. Um, all right, so I'm going to have to look that up and see if am I going to have to let's see. All right, so no. Oberon, I can get it from Oberon if needed, but a tiny pile at one and a half percent chance. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, Mox, you can get it from, but look at these chances. I don't. Mm. I could. Hmm. Okay, actually, I. I could get it and then use my replicator to maybe replicate it if that is not a thing. All right, so I'm gonna have to look that up. See how we get that. Um, there might be like a centrifuge. Yeah, all right, so that's probably how we do it, but that's still 20% chance, oof. Yeah, and this is like a 5% chance for a tiny pile for eight. All right, there's 30%, no, Vega B, you know, I can't get there. All right, anyway, we'll just ignore that for now. How many is that? I mean, I only need one of these. Uh, you get four foils per plate, all right? I 
Man, that's like 48. <laughs> Is that really 48 plate? Anyway, um, yeah. I will have to look into that. Uh, but anyway, here is the UV uh, motor. So we can kind of see what is involved in crafting these. What is this? Quadria. All right. So that's a thing. I do not have any Quadria either. So Samarium, pretty typical. Neutronium. I had a feeling it was going to be Neutronium. Oh, there's Neutronium and Mericium. Don't think we can do Mericium yet. So, uh, Neutronium we can access, but Mericium I don't think we can. Um, but anyway, let me do a little kind of searching here for Plutonium, and we will come back. All right, so after some searching around for the plutonium that we're going to need, um, at this stage of the game, there's really no easy way uh, to get it. Now I can go clear out multiple veins to try to get like small, little, tiny, little mounts. So I could centrifuge tons of these to get a 20% chance at a tiny pile. I need nine of these to get one. And I need 48 of those, so like I feel like that's not a good kind of thing. Um, so I just basically went, I went and just mined a whole bunch of stone um, with my hammer. And then uh, I think I'm going to, yeah, I send it all through the macerator and then I'm going to, I guess it's centrifuge, right? Or is it? Yeah, it's centrifuge, I think. So this does give me argon um, for these tiny piles. And then we'll kind of just see what we get here. Because um, I also chance of trinium. But this is a tiny, tiny chance. So I don't know how much we're going to get out. We have about, what, 4,000? We'll see uh, what we get. I only need about 48. I mean, only. But... Uh, then hopefully I won't have to craft that again until I can get to the next planet. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I don't know how much, um, cause it only took me about five minutes to go mine up all that stuff with the three by three hammer. Um, yeah. So I think we'll do that. Uh, the argon though, do I want to, no, I don't need, to... no, just kidding. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, hope, Hopefully, oh, it may not work. I don't know if this multi-block will work if I don't have a space for the hatch. Let me, um, let's find out. When I have a... I thought I had a uh, thing for that. Huh. What's the, uh... Dust space, dust Oberon, I guess. Let's see. I don't I have a feeling it's not going to work if I don't have space for the. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's running. All right, so I'm going to have to throw a output hatch on here, which is a bit of a pain. And but. Uh... Yeah, anyway, um, also just uh, doing some, um, uh, as you can see, I'm moving my ethylene and stuff and getting some plastic stuff set up. So we'll come back in a bit. And we are back. Um, it's been quite a bit of time and I've been doing a bunch of kind of uh, crafting and building up of some stuff. But first, let's take a look at the plutonium that we got so yeah uh all of that oberon what was it four thousand we got 60. so uh yeah i don't know about that i'll have to hmm. i'm just trying to i mean four thousand it didn't take me long to get that but i'm gonna have to 
I need 48 of those. Man, that is rough. All right. Um, I'll have to think about that. The other thing would be mining up the plutonium vein, but then I, I feel like that's maybe... I mean, it's not great, but would that be better, maybe? Would that be... I mean... And 20% for a tiny little one. But, I mean, if you think about it, that would be like every five, I guess. Yeah, maybe I should do that instead of that. So, I have seen, yeah, uranium, plutonium. I mean, oh, the whole layer is plutonium, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so that's probably what I'll do. We'll try that. All right. So I just convinced myself we'll go try that instead of going up and mining the um, the dust. But um, I just thought I would show this off. I finally got a little plastics room. So we got our polyethylene. Basically, I've, I've set these up before. Um, but uh, as we can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff coming over here. So we, this is ethylene in these pipes. So feeding ethylene into there, feeding ethylene to there. Uh, this one is methane feeding into this chemical reactor, which is producing the uh, polytetrafluoroethylene. And then I just have it set up, you know, to turn off when it is uh, not needed. But uh, I think this was actually not too bad. It did take a little while to get it set up, but uh, basically hydrofluoric acid, methane and chlorine. These two are super easy. Um, but I needed the hydrofluoric acid. Um, so that is just fluorine and hydrogen in the chemical reactor. So I have that going on. So hydrogen, fluorine. And then, uh, yeah, that will get produced uh, when, uh, when I'm in need of the... Um, uh, when I need more of this, I have it set to, I don't know, I can't remember set oh i can look right here yeah 64 ingots of the stuff so as soon as it does that it turns off the the thing and when that turns back on it'll make the fluoroeth hydrofluoric acid and then um yeah but that shouldn't have fluorine in it actually now that i'm thinking about that it should be turned off i thought it would be turned off with this, this is set to turn off if there's 8,000 in the thing. And that shouldn't be pulling. Uh, I gotta look that up. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me go and uh, mine up this, or at least put down the miner and uh, get this going here. And real quick, it actually was turned off. Um, that was like the backlog. Um, but the backlog hadn't been cleared out because the thing was turned off. Uh, I was messing with the thing. That's probably what uh, happened with that. When I was trying to kind of like make sure everything was um, working correctly, I was fiddling with the um, the uh, the the fluid level emitter. So I was turning it on and off, just manually kind of thing. And I think that's how it got screwed up. Like I turned, I set this to a thousand, and then it turned on. And then started filling the stuff up, and then uh, I would like set it back down. So I kind of messed everything up, but I think it's set now. And we are back, and I have gone ahead and mined out that plutonium vein. Now they're not very big, so I only got 20, uh, almost 2300. Um, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. I have. Just kind of guessing if you get a 20% chance of a tiny pile per thing. So maybe every 50, I get one. Um, I get like one regular plutonium or a 241. I don't know. We'll see. Although maybe I shouldn't. Anyway. No, it doesn't really matter. Is this good? No, it just 
Oh, there's tons and tons of lead that I don't need. Right, that's what I wanted to do. For a second, I was like, wait, is this how we're doing it? Yeah. Um... Trying to think how much... Because I want to keep some. I don't want to do... What is that? That's three stacks. Yeah. So we'll leave... Yeah, we could probably leave two... Two stacks. Actually, let's just do a... Uh, yeah. We'll do this. And we'll just see how much we get from this. So 20% chance. That's so, so tiny. Uh, but I don't know any other way to get this. Um, Cause I'm sure as heck not doing it that way. Eight rods for a 5% chance. I mean, that takes forever <laughs> for a 5% chance. I know I get Krypton from it, so we'll need that eventually, I think, for something. Um, but yeah, I'm just basically doing this to tide us over here until I can get to, I think it's the next planet, actually, which will make this much easier. Uh, but that's pretty typical. I guess we'll do... What's the uh, dust plutonium? Yep, there it goes. That should be running. Yeah. All right, and we'll see uh, what we end up getting. What are we? We're at six now, so we'll see. I don't know how long that. How long does that take? Thirty-five seconds. I'm not sure how much it was doing. I didn't see. Uh, what was that? Thirty-six. So did I get any from that? <laughs> I got two from that. So I don't know. I may need to go find another vein, but man, these, this Plutonium vein is, they're quite rare. I mean, it took me a while of running. Uh, I think I ran about 3,000 blocks before I found one. So this is not, this is definitely not easy. That is for sure. Yeah, weight of five. So, uh, I don't know if they would be better on the other. I'm assuming it's basically the same on all four. I mean, it's a weight of four on each planet. One of these planets isn't better. Um, Ceres is, I like Ceres though, because it's quite flat and easy to get around in. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just process all this plutonium. That's going to take a while. And, uh, see how many we get. If we can manage to get 48 ingots, that is so much. I don't know, but that's pretty typical of Gred Tech. It's really difficult at first, and then it gets easier. All right, but as we can see, we have a whole lot of... a whole lot more pipes all over the place. I think this is starting to look really cool. I don't know. I'm, like, really a fan of that. Uh, obviously, this is going to be, like, a building, but uh, having all this stuff come out of it, I think that's really cool. I don't know. Um, but I built up my styrene uh, butadine. I needed it for the the conveyor parts on the uh, yeah for the their conveyors basically. Any of the assembly line needs this styrene butadine, so I had to get that set up. So it should be this building should be done. We got our silicon rubber in here. Oh, I didn't think about the other one. I should have like just the regular rubber in here as well. 
I could probably do it like long here, maybe. Um, but I'll do that uh, later. Yeah, where do I have my it's in here or something, isn't it? Yeah, just kind of like a random. I should have all this done in the other. Other room, but I'll leave that for now. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, basically I, uh, we have stuff being piped over. So we got uh, benzene, ethylene, and butadine. That's all just being piped over from the distillery. Um, ethylene and butadine are in there permanently. I have a machine controller on a filter. Not a filter, um, a, a shutter. So a shutter, you can set to have it turn on and off. Um, so I have it set to turn off or only open up when it's receiving a signal, a uh, redstone signal. So the machine controller uh, tells it, once it gets a signal, it'll tell it you can open up and uh, start putting um, the benzene in here, which will produce the styrene. And then oxygen, styrene, and butadine produces the uh, styrene rubber dust. And then the rubber dust goes in here with the sulfur. And uh, yeah, we got a storage bus on here. Actually, I don't know what that was, but uh, I'll empty that out. So yeah, basically this fills up with the styrene and then it gets pulled out and put in that tank if needed. Um, and then this one is set, if I have, I think there are 16 of the raw stuff in the A system, it'll stop putting styrene in here. Uh, but by the time it turns off, this will be 16 buckets of styrene. And uh, I think I got something like 700 styrene um, before it like emptied out that, uh, that input hatch of the styrene. So basically, as soon as that turns on, I'm going to get 700 or something styrene um, before it ends up shutting off. But uh, yeah, so that is that build. I have uh, two more things I need to do. One, I don't know. Nah. The Thomcraft stuff, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. I really don't particularly feel like pulling it all over. <laughs> Um, I may though, because I do use it for balance charts. I should just pull this all over and just finally get all this done. All this stuff can be broken down. All my like random chests of stuff. Um, but yeah, Thomcraft, this, this. I don't know if I really want to do all this. I mean, maybe. I would like to kind of have a better infusion altar, like have all this stuff hidden underneath it. Um, so Thomcraft stuff is one build I need to do. Um, I At some point I'm probably gonna have to get a mob farm again for my ender pearls that I need. So that's another thing. I need to break all this down as well. But everything else is pretty much done. I do have a processing array here. I should break this down. And uh, maybe I'll just break this down while I'm here and throw it in my A system. Um, Yeah, so there's that one. And the very last thing I have to do is the poly... I have a little while before I have to do this, but the poly bends whatever stuff this is. This really complicated one. Um, I need to get this set up, but uh, I am not about to tackle that one quite yet. So, uh, yeah, making pretty good progress, though. Let's break this down. I don't, the only thing I, I was about to say, I could just break all my A system down. 
and uh, I'm gonna I'll break down all this stuff I think just so I can get the uh, all the uh, cables I don't have to craft more all ah, right so I still have this one for the lava Yeah, and then I have this one. This is the one I'm kind of dreading because this one's pretty complicated. I don't think I ever ended up setting that up because I haven't needed them yet. Um, so I got a couple things I need to uh, transfer over, but we're pretty much... This is it. I don't have to keep jumping back and forth much, I don't think. Um, I guess we'll just throw all this in there. All right, so let's take a look here. Yeah, we got a while to go. Although we're not, it's not, not doing terrible. I mean, you need nine each, so it's really, <laughs> this is a bit of a struggle for sure. Um, I'm going through that. Didn't I? No, I don't remember how many ingots I had in there. I feel like it's using that up. I don't want it to good use all the ingots up because I use these for argon. But I think we're good on argon for a while. All right. Anyway, let me uh, cut here and we will come back. All right. We are back. And after all that, um, what is it? 4,000 plutonium. I used a bunch of the plutonium already had to. So probably closer to 5,000. We ended up getting about 71 um, which is enough for what I am needing to do here. So let's just go ahead and throw that in here. This should work. I'm assuming that you can just smelt it normally. Yep, there it goes. All right, so we got that. Um, I guess I... Meh, do I need to... I don't know if we need to uh, make recipes for this or I don't know how often I'm going to be crafting this because I don't think I have any room for two more recipes actually. This room is pretty full on channels in there so I think I'm just going to do this um, manually um, because I don't really craft the emitters very often we'll just go ahead and do that all right so i should have yeah we have two zpm conveyors we should have the robot arm should have a zpm machine hull what else do we need for this i don't remember Two Naquata cables, that's like nothing. All right, so we do need one more UV tier. Um, we have one, but we need another one. He's not a thousand. But we are good. Is there anything kind of crazy? A lot of platinum. Only uses eight chips. Lots of niobium though. Anyway, we'll get that going, and then the last part I need to set up is the emitter. And we know I think we have everything in that now. Yep. Yeah. So I just have to set up the recipe for this. This needs yeah, so this is just going to take me some time. It's actually not that bad at all, to be honest. Uh, the plutonium is the hardest part, uh, for sure. And I had a motor made, and I couldn't remember why I had a motor already crafted. But, uh, yeah. So we'll get that going, and then... Uh, yep, there goes the... Fusion reactor. 
I think it's alright. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it just used a bunch, so it's still filling up again. I'm just... Didn't seem like there was enough in there. Oh, I guess it probably doesn't need that much. Yeah, it probably doesn't need mu that much europium for the, uh... Uh, for the motor. And uh, I also found out that the quantum suit uh, protects you from plasma wires, so I don't take damage from like the these pipes were, would almost kill me if I touched them before in the nano armor, but it does not in the quantum suit armor, so that's cool. Alright, so we got that crafting up. We got the other thing. I will get this emitter set up. Um, but before we do that, I had a couple uh, comments I wanted to talk about. I even <laughs> made a checklist so I did not forget. Um, Marcel Ozebek wanted me to show my statistics. So here we go. Uh, 57 days of play time. So uh, quite a lot of time put into this. There you go. <laughs> if you want to see some of this, pretty funny. Unfortunately, it's a lot of just vanilla stuff. Been killed by 70 creepers, 32 skeletons, 41 zombies. Oh, no, wait. I've never been killed by a creeper. Zombie killed me one time. Zombie pigment killed me two times. I think Blaze has killed me a lot. But uh, I don't know if those will be on there. Blaze. Yeah, I don't know if the Infernal Mobs are popping up there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just thought I'd show that out. And I had another comment. Unfortunately, I don't know how to say this name. It's in Cyrillic. Um, but he told me to put... Fertilize Dirt down in my tree farm and as we can see it is going much quicker um it can almost barely keep up so the fertilized dirt is really easy to make i don't know the difference between the two um but it's just two fertilizer and a dirt with some water or you could use bone meal or you could use this fertilizer um, I ended up using this fertilizer because you can get this really easy as well. Um, so like two sand and some appetite, which I had tons of, you get to five. Um, but yeah, that is really sped up the mob farm. So if we look at, I always do that. We look at the spruce wood now. Yeah, my, uh, my scrap thing can't even keep up with it anymore. So uh, that is... Really good. Yep. So it's going that fast and we can't even keep up with it. I may have to... I don't know. Craft another one? Um, I don't know where I would put that. I guess we could... See, I don't really want to do... I don't want to have it, like... Well, I guess that's not the end of the world. Have it the scrap, because it's just auto putting the scrap in. That's not, I was thinking it would be fluids, and I didn't want to have this like outputting fluids to do little tiny amounts, but it's actually this is doing. Uh, this is crafting the fluid. But anyway, I just wanted to show that off. Oh, wrong one. And we had another comment, uh, Ar Argonaut uh, said I should put a fluid solidifier next to the blast smeltery, and I never actually even thought of that, to be honest. Um, so I just put the fluid solidifier right next to the uh, output hatch. So whenever I use the blast smeltery, it'll just automatically um, go into the fluid solidifier and I won't have to worry about transporting it and 50 million filters and uh yeah so thanks for that um that'll definitely come in handy next time I 
Oh my goodness. Uh, when next time I craft up a new multi-block. All right, but uh, let me uh, cut here. Actually, um, it's about wrapping up point for this episode. Um, I think... Um, yeah, I'm going to add all this stuff in between episodes just because it's going to take a little while to craft this stuff up. And it does take me about 10 or 15 minutes to put all the stuff in here. Uh, this isn't the, uh, the quickest way of um, automating the, um, the assembly line, but I actually... Uh, quite like uh, Steve's factory manager. I think we have about a thousand is the max with command. So we have a little while to go, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.